Wow, it's happening. Check out the international organization that has welcomed Odun's nation as a latest member. It's happening. <laughs> Oduduwa's Republic is beginning to gain some momentum. It's happening. It is it's really happening. You know, when you think that um, nothing will happen, all of a sudden things begin to fall in place. And that's why you must not make a joke with a single spark. <laughs> a single spark can burn down a whole forest, can put it down with it in a single minute. So well, you when you when you see some Thing not right is it that you quickly nip it at the board or if you think it's something that is good encourage it before you know know, know what's happening it blossoms please don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe if this is your first time god bless you let's get all the details check out the international organization that has welcomed odu nation at its latest member it is a very great Pleasure to tell you that the Yoruba nation, also known as Odu's nation, has been welcomed into the unrepresented nation of people's organization, UPO, as its 45th member. This was made known by the leader of the Yoruba People Congress, Professor Banji Akintoye, in his latest ninth broadcast done by Koiki Media. The UN PO is an international organization with its headquarters in Hungary, Netherlands, and it was formed on the 11th of February 1991. Before now, the UNPO consists of 44 members, which include the Talonian, Biafra, and other nations, so many others, 44 elders, but has been made known by Professor Banji Akintoye, the UNPO, is happy to welcome Yoruba Nation on board as its 45th member. While addressing the issue, Professor Banji Akintoye said that the membership is a great sign that the strife for those nation, which has been which has been deprived by many people, intending to frustrate the agenda, is becoming a reality and is making progress. He added that the arrangement of the UNPO, which is which they also expect Expressly delight in is to have the Yoruba nation on board. Significantly, verification of their strive, and they are looking forward to meet with other international organizations such as the United Nations, African Union, and others in order to further establish the agitation for the Yoruba global nation. This is really what's happening now, and then um, these people are rising up and then getting things done. The reality of the Yoruba nation, and uh, a lot of people have expressed a uh, lot of excitement as uh, this is beginning to gain, you know, the recognition that it, that is so, um, you know, deserves. You know, gradually is beginning to gain all the attention it should get to ensure that they get they get to the desired position some of this membership is important because before you know it, they get to un and things begin to fall in place and the nation begin to actually understand that they are what's striving and making things better and they're getting to the desired position this is what is happening now uh, it's happening my people and um Nigerians are beginning, I mean, especially those of the Yoruba nation are beginning to rise up and say, wow, we are getting somewhere. The struggle is real. The agitation is coming on board and we are going to get there at the end of the day. It's actually happening and um, we are making such a huge progress. Please uh, remember that if this is to work, it's a combination of everyone coming on board and actually working to ensure that this really happens. It's really happening today, my people. Yoruba nation is becoming a, a reality, you know. Once upon a time, it was like a dream. People can, you know, they could not touch it. It was like a far distant memory. It was like it would never happen. But guess what? It's beginning to come really closer home. It's beginning to fall in place. And before you know it, here comes Oduduwa's nation. It's really happening. It's really happening. You know, uh, uh, why some people are for it, some are against it. And the youth cannot understand why the, the you know some of the elders in Yoruba land 
especially those who are benefiting from this president's administration, want the country to continue like this, despite all that is happening. You know, some of them have come up to say, this government, you are like seriously impossible. With all that is going on, you think that we should still remain as one nation? How is that helping anybody? People are dying in their numbers. A lot of things are happening. Yet you guys want us to remain as one nation and pretend like nothing is going on. That's not acceptable. That is not right. That is not what should be. You know, we should actually stand up and tell ourselves the truth. This is people begin people need begin people really need to begin to take responsibility. People really need to begin to understand that uh, if this is going to happen, it has to be everybody needs to come on board. Everybody, like everyone, seriously needs to come on board. There have to be agreements across the lines. People need to really agree upon uh, uh, one position and say, this is where we are headed. This is what we're going to do. This is our association, and we're going to make it great. We're going to work together. But when you have a lot of divide, for instance, the Olu of Iwo is one person who has categorically said, no, I don't want uh, Udu's nation. Uh, I will kick against it. And even religious clergy from his own part has also come up to say, there is no need. Let us stay together as one uh, nation. He even released a press statement saying that he wants 10 million Fulanese in Iwo so that he can become me, me, me. He can produce the next president. And uh, I mean, it is what it is. It's happening. It is it's rather very unprecedented that people are beginning to, you know, uh, position themselves in this regard, in this light. And it's really rather unfortunate, you see. So I don't know. I mean, but they are very excited about uh, this new progress. Uh, joining an international body, making pr progress that could potentially, you know, bring about uh, the, the reality that indeed they are getting somewhere. Because the truth of the matter is with this association, there are some benefits that comes with it. There are some uh, agreements, there are some, you know, ben you know uh, merit and demerit as long alongside that comes and assist them to get to the desired position. They are going to be working together. Before you know it, they work together to get to UN, get to all the relevant bodies that can actually help to decide to say, indeed, here it is, here, we, here, here is the desired position, and uh, it becomes official. But until then, there is still that uh, bit of divide here and there. A lot of persons have their own uh, reason why things should be the way they are, why things should not, uh, should not uh, uh, turn out the way they are, because the government of Nigeria has rather agreed with them that if you, you take another position, you do not uh, stay with us, you might not, uh, you might not get all the desired benefits or whatever you want. So it is happening. There you have it, the latest development of those nations uh, registering with other international body to get uh, recog uh, international recognition and acceptance to say this is now a sovereign nation. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.